<laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Nancy Carter, and I'm very excited to have been nominated for the Aaron Board of Trustees. I want to thank you for the opportunity to present myself today, as I'm relatively new to this Aaron community. That doesn't mean I'm new to the internet. Canary, the organization that I work for, helped develop the internet in Canada and the .ca registry. And I'm also on the board of the Canada chapter of the Internet Society. But back to Aaron. My first Aaron meeting was in New Orleans, where I attended Aaron 39 as a fellow. I was inspired with new information, with the inclusiveness of the Aaron community, and in particular, with how welcoming you all were. When I left New Orleans, I knew I had to get more involved. As you can tell by looking at the screen and reading my bio, I come from the research and education sector. I'm very passionate about the internet. I love new challenges and have a history of helping organizations adapt to new opportunities and new technologies. I have a rare mix of financial and legal experience. And while I may not be the most technical candidate for the Board of Trustees, I believe my background matches the sweet spot of the role of Aaron, which is to support the operation and growth of the internet. I believe that I can add value to the Board of Trustees. 20 years ago, I made the transition from the private sector to the not-for-profit space, which was the best decision I ever made. What I learned through that transition was that the two sectors gauge their relevance to the communities or markets they serve using fundamentally different measures. The private sector uses profit and profit growth. When that disappears, so does the company. The not-for-profit space in which Aaron and Canary operate strive to do public good, supporting the adoption of the internet, increasing the utility of the internet, and advancing the digital age. I hope we agree that measuring profit is considerably more straightforward than measuring relevancy or the impact on public good. However, that's something that I have 20 years experience with. In the Aaron region, the transition to IPv4 or IPv6 is essential after the exhaustion of IPv4. In Canada, adoption of IPv6 in the higher education sector was led by Canary, which among other things included an IPv6 testbed as a test and training platform. So what's really at stake if we don't spur the adoption of IPv6? The technology of the internet is about connecting people and supporting commerce, science, and social interaction, to name a few of its uses. Requiring workarounds to bridge between the two IP protocols only complicates connectivity as network speeds continue to scale. When the rules of the game change, organizations need to adapt or perish through loss of relevancy. The rules for Aaron changed when we started running out of IPv4 addresses. And while Aaron has adapted, it needs to continue to adapt. Canary is almost 25 years old, and during my tenure there, I have been part of a management and governance structure that has allowed Canary to adapt and retain relevance through predictable technology changes from ATM to IP, or from 56 kilobits per second to 100 gig, and through less predictable ones, exhaustion of IPv4 addresses, the use of cloud, social media, and so on. If you're here today or watching this on video, I like to believe that you are involved with Aaron because you support its purpose and want to ensure its continued value and relevance to society. That is what the other candidates and I are here to do as well. My not-for-profit, financial, governance, and legal experience will support Aaron's mission, not only today, but strengthen its value into the future. I hope that I can count on your vote. I truly look forward to working with the Aaron community. Thank you.